Welcome back, folks, and uh, we're going to wrap it up here on this edition, I'm talking predominantly about supplements, what the right supplements are, the way how you waste your money so much of the time on these supplements that are unneeded. But there's some that are home run hitters, aren't they, Tom? And literally very, very important to health. We talked about vitamin D, magnesium, a multiple vitamin, those type of things. Fiber, very important. Water is almost a supplement to some degree because you have to take in the water. But let's talk about omega-3 fats, and it's the one thing that you, you look at the brightest people on the planet, the smartest people, the healthiest people out there. Who are they? Japanese, Chinese, the Norwegian, Scandinavians. Why? Because they, you know, they're greased with this fat when they're born, for that matter. I mean, they're eating it from day one. The parents, the, the mother, father are on it before the baby's even conceived. And the reason why this is, Tom, is because they call it essential fatty acids, something that the body must have in every cell and that sort of thing. If you do not take it in in your diet, you are deficient in it. And if you're deficient in omega-3 fatty acids, you've got some pretty major problems happening, right? Inflammatory process number one. Yeah, that's what we talked about in the yes, past. Yes. But, yeah, not only will you have inflammation just think of pain that's a great motivator to the american people oh yes you know, if, if you can help me with my pain you know uh 10 of adults are on pain pills wow i had no idea of that that's, that's a and, and just again you bring that inflammatory process down you could take a lot of people at least relieve a lot of pain right there just with that with that point point. and when you look at essential fatty acids not only the inflammatory process time but american heart association recommends three grams a day that's the american and, and that's the only supplement that they've ever backed for that matter the american heart association is omega-3 fatty acids look what it does to the brain we're all fat heads you know our brain is made of fat my dad when i told him that i said that was actually a compliment you didn't know that my brain is made of fat he said i didn't mean it as one son but it's it the brain is made of fat Fat. It's something that, that you must take in on a regular basis. The, the essential fat that's the most important for the brain, DHA, dicosahexaenoic acid, that is found in fish oil. Uh, we find a lot of help with concentration issues with the brain, skin subtleness, nerve. I, I really do believe, Tom, if you were to look and crown the king of supplements, I would almost have to say that it would be essential fatty acids, omega-3. I totally you? agree. Yeah, it, I, I totally think most agree. of the people that study it see the activity and what it does in the body and the range that it has. It's truly an amazing supplement. So, folks, if, you, if you're not on these things, if you're not on these very basic supplements, and Tom and I have been dealing with supplements and nutrition for so long, and we have seen so many things come and go. And I've always said all along, there's a lot of hype, a lot of marketing hype, even in the industry, in the vitamin and, and nutrition industry. But get these basic supplements, and it's interesting that Tom and I, we didn't even discuss this before the show, that we agree on these very basic supplements, magnesium, no, uh, omega-3, you know, I mean, and, and, and vitamin D and a multivitamin. If you can do just those basic things, I don't care what's ailing you. You're going to see some help from this because you're giving the body what it does not have and what it's deficient in. So go out there, make sure you know what you're doing, of course, when you start, and then know where you're at. Tom, I think that's another point as well is your starting point. You have to understand where you're at, where you're trying to be. That's the most important step. Well, I used to try to get people to eat the foods, but that's tough to do. Yes. And, and especially with the fish. And the same thing, people, when you get a fish oil supplement, if you have problems with it try another one don't just quit yes because here's the thing those pills are actually regulated more than the fish that you get from the market <laughs> and so they they measure them for toxicities and you know people are worried about mercury and that sort of thing but these supplements you can take them and you can feel comfortable with them like i said the worse you get's a little burpy or something yeah and and, and so, again a rancid oil folks good oils are very medicinal to the body almost a bad oil is almost a toxin to some degree so make sure that you get the highest quality supplement out there on the fish oil side and all sides for that matter when it comes to supplements and then look into these basic things, folks. That's why we're here trying to give you and distill it down. We put all of this information in one little package here in, in a 20-minute show to try to give you the best knowledge and, and, and the best value out there when you're spending your money. So we appreciate the time. We'll see you next week uh, on Understanding Your Health. Tom Butler, Todd Scarborough. Hang in there, folks. Get healthy. Thanks.